I'm Spencer. And this is The Itch. And we're here to talk about a recent controversy with the new game, Pillars of Eternity. Say what? To those that are uninformed about it, it's basically Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah! Made by Obsidian. Yeah! <laughs> and uh, it's, it's Wait, very... hold on, hold on. Real quick, is it super glitchy? Mm, it is. <laughs> it is made by Obsidian, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, ah! it, it has a couple glitches. One of the glitches is you can't like double click in your inventory or else it removes all current status. Oh like, my god! Current status. <laughs> it's a weird glitch, but it, it's uh, otherwise it's pretty solid so far. I've been playing it. I'll have a review soon. Wait for those game breaking glitches. Yeah, baby. It's I can't wait. For I'm trapped on this planet. <laughs> but they have a different kind of problem right now. Oh, let's get serious. Oh yes. Come closer, kids. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Gather. <laughs> oh, you're actually doing it. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, oh, I didn't do my face today. So this is, you know. <laughs> I wasn't so, in the makeup trailer. Yeah. So, they re they obviously they're crowdsourced. This is, a, this is a new thing kind of in gaming is crowd crowdfunding everything. Yeah. And it's it's really a good way to gauge if the audience even wants it. Right. They, if they didn't fund you, fuck. The audience wanted this. <laughs> the audience wanted this one for sure. It was like over $4 million. That is... 77,000 something people. That's a better budget it. than most games. Yeah. So it really picked up. This game is huge. It's oh, actually a really great game. Even if I haven't finished it yet or anything, I'm, I'm just going to say it's very good. Stand by for the review. It had a little bit of an issue, though. What? It, for $500, the game would allow you to purchase your own tombstone, tombstone. and write whatever you wanted on it. Your tombstone, Arizona. Yeah. Go to Arizona. <laughs> You know, and Val Kilmer, if you will. Therein lies the problem. There's a bunch of tombstones in the game where people could write pretty much whatever they wanted on them. Oh, shit. You knew there'd be controversy if you right. did something like that. Let's get racist! Sure enough. What instead? <laughs> sure enough, somebody wrote a semi... I guess you call... I don't even... Well, we'll get into that, but here's what they wrote. It's from... It's for Firedorn Light... Bringer. The light is misspelled. I'm not sure if that was intentional. Not our or not. words, by the way, so apologies if this offends anyone. Yeah, again, not, yeah, not our words. Here lies Firedorn, a hero in bed. He once was alive, but now he's dead. The last woman he bedded turned out a man, and crying in shame, off a cliff, he ran. Obviously, this is a semi. <laughs> this is a semi-homophobic uh, tombstone. It doesn't paint the nicest picture of homosexuals in the in the in the world right now. And of course, we're we're living in a very or, political or, or transgender or transgender, yeah, yeah. Whoever, whichever you identify. However, however transgender. you look at it, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> painting a strange picture of the world. So we come in a time when political correctness is at like an all-time fury. It's just constantly growing of, of everybody trying to be politically correct, everybody attacking each other for breaking the, you know, you know, saying something that could be offensive. Yeah. And a lot of people, I mean, can sometimes be, I guess you could say, sort of uh, pressured into uh, behaving that way. I mean, we don't want to offend anyone. Right. Uh, obviously. But, I mean, do I constantly, do I think I should have to constantly be like, oh, you know. Yeah. Oh, if you're, you know, transgendered or whatever the case is, I, I think that's really anal, in my opinion. Yeah, like, anal, cop, shit, balls, all right, that. Right, yeah, ballsy. No, but seriously, it's it can get, like, really technical. Right. And oftentimes, you're, you're just, it becomes an entirely different point. Well, and, and on Twitter, they got attacked. Obsidian has officially been attacked. Obsidian was attacked. Yeah. They called out Obsidian, they're like, we need who, you to who, change Who attacked them? Uh, somebody named Erica Imperial. I don't even want to necessarily read their names because it's just oh, giving them credence. But uh, basically, they're just being attacked, saying that it's a horrible thing to say. It's so rude. Transgender misogyny. Like yeah. yeah. So not everybody agrees. There's people on the other side of the fence. What's your take on it? Um, <laughs> deal. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not Obsidian's fault. Okay. They did something that they thought would be cool. Obviously, they didn't think it through. However, uh, it's not their fault. They can't take responsibility. I hate that. Like, I hate when when one uh, game company like maybe does something, or someone on that that you know that's representative of that game company does something stupid, and the entire company has to like take shit for it. Because mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, being in the military, we had mass punishment, and I fucking hated that. If one guy fucked up, guess what? Everyone's doing fucking push. -ups. Right. You know, everyone's getting their asses kicked. Oh, Chinese Field Day, deal with it. You know, I hated that shit. I'll tell you guys what I mean. Yeah. But <laughs> it's bullshit. 
That's for sure. But uh, the thing is, is one, it's not their fault. But two, you know, that person in particular, I'm sure they can find out who it was. Um, and, you know, request a formal apology or something like that. Whatever. It's probably too far along the line. But <laughs> at the same time, like, you really can't pin it on them. Yeah, someone in QA should have been, like, thinking, hey, this is probably not a good idea to do. But to really blame all of uh, Obsidian, it's kind of a little silly. I've got a question. Offensive comment or not. Is this offensive? Um, well, I don't, I don't view it as offensive just because it's not how I live my life. But is it... I mean... Considering it's set in a medieval tone, a medieval setting, it's, you know, it's Baldur's Gate type of thing. It's set in a time when maybe that wasn't totally practiced. Yeah. Maybe all this wasn't really something that we thought of a lot. Okay. He thought it was gross. He jumped off a cliff. Well, I think the whole thing is the crying and shame part. At the time. Can offend some people. I mean, yes. There was a time, it, there was a time when, story. there was a time when slavery was a thing. We make movies oh, about cum. I'm, no, no, no. But we make because I'm black, folks. We we make movies about slavery. Should we say, "Hey, that's really offensive. I don't like this." No, that's what it was. Some people embrace it. I mean, Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> but that's that's what it was. It's not something that we need to hide and say that this never happened. It's something that we say this happened. It was wrong. Uh, we can't pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. We shouldn't. We should accept that this is what the, t the state of the time was at. That, that's where things were. Well, my question to that is, you're comparing something that's historical and one that's fantasy. That's the thing. Fantasy, except that that this was common literature at the time. This kind of stuff. Well, it's Baldur, Baldur's Gate isn't really historical. Right? It's not historical, but you can still look at it as medieval. It's yeah. a medieval setting. But did the person that created this, were they pulling from a story? Um, probably not pulling from a real story or anything. Fire Dawn, we should Google that. But it's certainly set in the same tone as everything else is. Okay. Certainly matches that. And at the same time, too, it's, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever read. I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of like a, a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Mm -hmm. He said so offensive to, you know, certain Somebody people. Somebody would be so offended wrong. by it, maybe. But some probably be offended by, like, people got offended at, at uh, I think it was, was it Mass Effect? For just portrayal of how some, uh, I believe, uh, lesbians or homosexual characters or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or if it wasn't that, it was, it was Dragon Age. It was one of them. And it was like, you, you can't win. Uh, yeah. Either way, someone's going to get offended somehow. This yeah. one feels just more a little more bl uh, blatant to me. Um, you know, like, we deal with it on the internet. You, you'll often see someone, you know, who posts a comment and they're like, you know, they're dropping like F-bombs or whatever. Yeah. Not, you know, fuck, but, you know, stuff like that. And it definitely offends some people. And this kind of feels like it's more in that tone. It's just not nearly as strong. So right. should you be up in arms like Twitter crazy about it? Probably not. Was it in bad taste? Yeah. When you consider that some people are going to get offended by it? Yeah. I mean, obviously we don't go around trying to offend people. Right. You know, we want to be best friends with everyone in the universe. Including you. You. But um, it just looks bad uh, to, to post something like that or whatever. But you definitely shouldn't be like going so crazy let's go on twitter and start a rant yeah, page, yeah. You know, which is i hope didn't come to that uh it's actually kind of funny uh some people such as uh total biscuit that uh, cynical brit him <laughs> um has actually made mention that he doesn't find it offensive it's just like, it's like it's a joke it's a joke yeah yeah which you know honestly i can actually see as well you know uh you can view it as that because at the end of the day the guy doesn't mean anything by it he doesn't mean hey i hate homosexuals on there and it's a poem the guy tried to be funny whatever yeah. If it's not funny to you, fine, whatever. Right. I, I know plenty of like comedians and stuff will say some pretty mean ass shit. People will still laugh along with it because they view it as a joke from the get go. Some yeah. people just need to get in that mindset. Yeah. So it goes both ways. That's true. I, I don't know. I know I took over your. I don't personally hey, find Spencer. it. <laughs> I don't personally find it offensive at all. I find it to be funny, uh, and funny? it's a shame that we live in a society that doesn't agree with freedom of speech all the time. If somebody wants to put what they want, let them do it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Well, freedom of speech from us. <laughs> you know. It's like, hey, you can say what you want. But don't say. Don't say that. <laughs> Go away now. Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my take on yeah. it. So. Well, I'm Spencer. And I'm not cynical. And we're British. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the uh, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We do videos every week.
We also stream on every week. This is the itch on Twitch. Every week. Thanks for watching. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying to shoot people up before they download us. <laughs>